Vanessa. I am indeed here with Jim so Tiller from the Breckenridge yes. Fine Art Gallery. And we, we always have such a good time when you're on the show. Thank you for joining me. Uh, you're welcome. We talk as much before the show <laughs> as during the show, I think. I think so, too. Um, and you, I always tell viewers, and this is the God's honest truth, you travel to ends of the earth to find some really fascinating artists from everywhere with really wonderful stories. I do, and sometimes the story makes the art live. Yes. And the background of these artists is so unusual. I mean, the world is a big, major place, yeah. and they do all these major things. Right, right. It's just interesting. It is. Well, it's very interesting. And you have, um, today you have two artists um, that you are showing off that are currently, um, you have their work their work in your gallery. Right. Uh, both of the pieces I show you are in the gallery mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. And uh, I haven't had shows for these two artists. You're looking at the work of Raya Sorkini. Mm -hmm. uh, the first thing, and you noticed it earlier, mm -hmm. he takes after Chagall. Right. And Chagall, of course, was a French artist, just like uh, Mr. Sorkini is. Okay. But what he wants you to do is, number one, be happy. Right. You can't ignore that's a, that's it. That's a happy painting. <laughs> it it's, is. It's a party, but it's called The Feast, correct? Yes, The Feast Day. Mm -hmm. And I think it's based on a marriage, but even so, it's a, he calls it Feast Day. Mm -hmm. And so there are very ele various elements to that piece of art. Color, of course, is very important. He mm -hmm. is a colorist. Mm -hmm. But you'll notice in the faces, they're looking back at you, and there is meaning in their faces. He puts that meaning there as a way of reflecting the world. Right. So happy, feast, marriage, flowers. And you notice he also had a bouquet. The, yes. The couple had a bouquet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mark Chagall actually put a bouquet in most each of his artworks because when he was the director of art for part of the Soviet Union, mm -hmm. his wife couldn't, his future wife tried to meet him. He was too shy to talk. So she brought up a bouquet of flowers, handed it to him, and forced him to talk to her. <laughs> they got to know each other and got married. Ah. That's why in everybody who follows Marc Chagall, you'll see a bouquet in the middle of the artwork. Ah, very meaningful. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, and that just looks like a party. And also of note, too, is the chicken at the bottom. The chicken, yes, that's right. <laughs> um, Again, Mark's taken after Mark Chagall. Yes. Mark Chagall was Hasidic Jew. Okay. So he didn't want to paint his family's faces. Okay. So instead, he put them in as farm animals. <laughs> and that chicken is Uncle Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Such yeah. a fun fact. I mean, who, yeah. who knew? I didn't know that. That's a really fun fact. It is interesting, yes. And, and um, also, to the color in the feast day is, I mean, it's like the entire spectrum of the rainbow, I feel like, is covered color-wise. It is. Mm -hmm. So that means he's a colorist, but he isn't trying to particularly match anything. Okay. He's simply trying to make a powerful, riotous statement of beautiful colors. I, well, I would say that he's achieved that. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay, and then this next artist is really interesting. Um, he has been all over the I mean, he's like been mm -hmm, all over the world. Mm -hmm. He started out in uh, Soviet Russia, correct? Way, way in the east part, like mm. beyond Siberia. Oh my goodness. Not only is it cold there, mm. but it, there are deep, deep forests. Mm -hmm. And uh, the broad expanse of land covered with trees. Mm -hmm. But now you'll notice in his artwork, which we see now, uh, he puts the trees kind of sparsely out there because he moved to Israel mm -hmm. when he was... Uh, after he had his first child, mm -hmm. he and his wife moved to Israel, and he began painting the Is Israel, the landscape of Israel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which means you've got fields, mm -hmm. then trees, then fields, right. then a house, and so forth. Not 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 quite so, um, you know, thick, dense Russian forest. It right. kind of opened him up a little bit. Right. Mm -hmm. And in that dense forest, there are tigers. You know, mm -hmm. they're known for that. And in, in Israel, and this piece actually he painted in the south of France. I was going to say this looks this looks very like French Italian countryside to me. Yes, Tuscany mm -hmm, in that area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What he wants to give you is, as you noticed earlier, depth. Right. Got good depth, mm -hmm. good color, but it is based on the theory of primitivism, mm -hmm. and he doesn't want to put too much in there to to get you occupied. He wants you to feel the beauty and the setting but not too occupied with the artwork, just enjoy it. And primitive kind of means it's not complicated. It's real life mm -hmm. and it's just happy. I like that. A nice expansive land. I was gonna say it is very expansive. I feel like you look at that and it just keeps 
going. Like mm -hmm. it's like you mm -hmm. look like you're looking almost at a photograph mm -hmm. of like, you know, when you look at the Rocky Mountains and they just keep going, you're like, is this real? Right, right. <laughs> and the trees that you saw in that piece of art, you also have to realize they're kind of like lollipops. Yeah. You, you get that feeling. Totally. And even the color, uh, the house in the distance, uh, it's all very Tuscany oriented, mm -hmm. but it's, it's also, he get, has the colors of, of Israel. And ah. those basic earth colors then come into strong reds and basic greens, which gives him a, again, uh, you call it a jeweled look because when you put those opposite colors together, complementary colors right. together, they make it stand out better. Ah. He's a good artist. He, he is. Well, you have wonderful <laughs> artists. And both of these paintings are um, featured at the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They're both there. And people have been noticing them because of the color. I love that. With all the white snow outside, the beautiful they pop. color. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they now, where do. is Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery located? 421 South Main. Okay. Right at the end of Main Street at Park. Okay. And um, we really have had a lot of nice visitors recently from Australia. Wonderful. Yesterday and okay. the day before that. Their summertime, our wintertime. I Why like not? it. Why yeah, not? Sure. Yeah. Lots well, of visitors. Well, and what, what are your hours, just so folks are aware? Every morning at 10, we open. Mm -hmm. We close at 8 o'clock at night. All right. Seven days a week. Excellent. Well, folks, be sure to stop by and say hello to Jim over at the Breckenridge Fine Art Gallery and treat yourselves to a nice day over there. We have more Summit Sunrise to come, including a Washington Snow Go Anywhere.